Hi there. I want to show you this 2010 803 Eastman 803 with two pickups that I just acquired that I'm going to be offering up to some lucky student. This guitar is 10 years old, but really it looks like it's only been played for six months. It's got two dings on it, <laughs> two or three little tiny dings. And uh, let's see, that's dust. And uh, it's just in beautiful, beautiful shape. Okay, so what is the 803? Well, it's a solid guitar. Solid top, solid spruce, solid uh, sides of back. Check out that. Check out that uh, tiger stripe on there. Okay, it's also got a three-piece neck. It's got an ebony fretboard. It's 25 in scale length, a one and three quarter inch nut width, which uh, some people like, some people don't. If you, the older you get, the fatter your fingers are, and sometimes it's kind of nice to have a little extra room. 25 inch scale is uh, ends the battle between 20. Should I get 25 and a half or 24 and three quarters? Get a 25 and a half, and you're good. That's Johnny Smith scale. So this particular guitar. Um, Again, I acquired it, and and one of the things about it is when I first got it, I uh, plugged it in, and I thought, this just doesn't sound right. It just doesn't, it, it should sound better than it does. So what I did is the Rendell Wall trick, which I've done on many, many guitars, and where I've raised the pickup rings on both pickups with little nylon washers, and let that top vibrate. When I did that, I was like blown away. I mean, it was night and day. It was like going talking like this, talking like this. You know, it it really opened up the guitar. It was crazy. I don't know how else to say it. Um, so I did that, and I adjusted the pickups to where I think it sounds the best, where the guitar is even, uh, when I got it, the pickups were very low, and a low pickup, uh, you're going to get more acoustic sounds. Remember, believe it or not, this is an electric guitar. It's it's acoustic, yes, and it does put out a lot of a lot of noise. No, music. You know. Some people can hear how a guitar is going to sound by thumping it. Then you know what it's going to sound like. All right, but um, I adjusted the pickups. And these are, these. at first I thought, well, maybe I should change these pickups. They're just not getting a sound. Now I think I got it. And it's just these stock pickups. Pickup placement is everything. So if you take a close look at this guitar, which we will do right now. This guitar, if you can check out and see the, hello, there's that camera. Uh, can you see that pickup? That's yeah, probably hard to see on there. Let me go on this side. Can you see the pickup ring there? It's been lifted. All right, so let's take a look at the condition of this guitar. Now, look at the binding on that. What is it? Three-ply binding on the neck and the headstock. Beautiful shape, this headstock. By the way, that's, I believe, dust. Okay. Um, beautiful shape. The gold is in gorgeous shape. There's no nicks on the neck. And this has got one, two, three, four, five, I don't know, five or seven ply binding on the back. Who does that? Usually the back nobody sees, so they do single single ply or double okay so this is a top of the line guitar 10 years ago I should keep it if I was smart I have several Eastman's what's one more all right beautiful condition this guitar Pickups are in, in nice shape. It's, they've been shined. A little bit of the chrome is coming off of this. 
or the gold, I should say, maybe a tiny bit. Beautiful shape. Let me go back. Now, let's take a listen to it. After all, you're not buying the, to look at. Playability, let's talk about that. I was able to get the action down nice and low the way I like it. Um, and again, I adjusted everything to get the sound. Good sound is here. And you twist the knobs and do what you can to get the sound out of it. However, you can do all the twisting in the world and all the modifications, but if you don't have the right stuff to begin with, it ain't going to happen. I Believe me, I know that. I tell the story, I had a 175 and wanted it to sell, sound like an L5 for decades, and it never did. Well, it never will. Let's hear it. Okay, it's got that West sound, you know. <clears throat> it's, uh, this is a, a nice guitar. You know, okay, it's not going to sound like an L5 because if you want it to sell like an L5, buy an L5 or an Eagle Classic or something a little bigger. This is more in the lines of a Heritage 575. Not a Gibson 175, Gibson 175, same dimensions here little fatter pick up in the wrong spot on the Gibson right it's back so you can pick there and so you get a tinier sound and uh, it ain't gonna happen so here is th this though <laughs> Is like eating ice cream just when you think you got it licked it drips all over you so um, beautiful tones Oops, I'm overloading a little bit. Something like that. Anyway, it just has got that tone, man. It's got a pretty fat jazz tone. With feedback, I don't think you're going to have an issue with that. There's a little too much mass on this top. It's not going to feed back too much, even though I, 
I did the lifting of it. So if you're interested in this guitar, please give me a jingle and we'll talk about it. Frets, beautiful shape. Frets, I've got the action pretty darn low. And uh, you should be good to go. I'll talk to you later.